Wow. Hold it. That is what I call winter. We found these. A flower found... and ice. It's frosted over. Oh, it's beautiful, Sophie. We should take a picture of it. Wow. Okay, take this. This is freezing me. Drop it. Woo! Oh, sorry. Sorry. Been hitting She's people. <laughs> She's like, wow! <laughs> what is it? She's the weirdest dog. She's like, I will eat you. Good morning. Welcome to today's video. Welcome to. It came from the water. Yeah. I just smashed the water. Welcome to Iceland. How to keep your dog busy? Give her ice. <laughs> Good uh, morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Friday, it is already Friday. I'm I got to do a science experiment with this thing on my head. Yeah. It's living run free. <laughs> it's living run free. I'm very excited. Well, let's show them, let's show them Sophie. So if you guys didn't see, oh my gosh, spider webs in the bottom. If you guys. Super in for Halloween. <laughs> Halloween's over. <laughs> if you guys didn't see yesterday, Sophie got bonked in the head by mistake. From my saddle stirrups. It hurts. Yeah, wrong place at the if wrong I time. If I touch it, it still hurts. Don't touch it. It looks gone almost now. But Gabby still be drinking her coffee. <laughs> we ended the vlog with Gabby standing in that exact spot, wearing that exact coat, drinking that almost exact coffee. <laughs> mm. Well, one thing I've noticed about Gabby though is that she has a deer in headlights look on her face today. <laughs> No, that was me zoning out. Oh, zoning out. Gabby is zoning out. Oh, this morning we, so you guys have seen that the last couple of days we've been cleaning the barn and today we're going to do the girls paddock in the arena. I brushed my horse the whole entire day yesterday. It took me forever. Sophie and I worked on her and now she be dirty as heck again. Dad put the heater on. Dad put the heater on in the in the water trough? Yeah. Good. Are you taking my horse? Am I taking my horse? I'm taking your horse. Whoa. Ken, you are messy. Such a Get messy girl. Horse. I love how furry they are, how fluffy they are. Just Grab wait. your horse. Just Push wait. Me. Just wait. Hold on to my horse for a second. She's trading me horses. Mom, hurry. Just wait. I need to clean her a bit. I do not like to put my horse out in the field looking like She's not loved. She is, she she is loved. Like Everywhere I go, I smell like a horse, you guys, because of this. She's fluffy though and soft. Like, look at that. I don't know if you can see it. There's a lot of fur on there. Kind of glad that grass season is almost over because you guys have to wait. I hate our horses being so chubby. Yours looks like Albert Einstein. Hair. Hair. You have Albert. He, she does have Ab Albert Einstein hair. And you know what? She is the best little pony. All right. None of our girls have problems with sugar. They're a bit chubby, but none of them are metabolic, or at least we haven't never seen any signs of them being metabolic. And it makes it still makes me nervous putting them out on the frost. I read up on it a couple of days ago, and it said that you should wait a week after frost to really let them eat the grass because the sugars are so high. I don't know if it's the same everywhere. But that's what they say here. But that's for metabolic horses. Horses with no metabolic problems should be okay. And our boys are out there. I didn't let you go yet. All right, go. Yesterday they ran like the Dickens. So, like it almost looks like snow. That's how much frost is out there today. All right, it is sunny and bright. You can tell it's winter. I do not have my gloves. Whew. So we are gonna try and get the arena cleaned up and the mayor field cleaned up. Can you guys even see me? Holy heck. We are gonna try and get everything cleaned up in here and some stuff put away for winter. I can't believe it's winter. Like, it's November. I guess we should have been expecting it, but still, it's hard. I like winter. I like winter too, but I don't like, whoa. I don't like winter. You don't like winter? All right, let's get moving. We got everything here, at least to stay alive. And the time that we share makes it all worthwhile. Got this place on. Do you feel how we got something strong?
And just like that, our arena is beautified. Look at how gorgeous, you guys. Who's gonna get yelled at? The favorite child. Who's the favorite child? Me. <laughs> yes, he is. Now, come on, we love you both. I always have to give you water and food. Yeah, you're the youngest child. You're the. Yeah, the oldest child should be doing it. No, the youngest one has to put in her dues. She did it all before you were born. She was like two. <laughs> all know, right, the so. Child's not supposed to be loved at all. So we are. No, I don't know what you're doing there. We are cleaning up, getting things done. Apparently the youngest child is supposed to be the favorite. The youngest child is supposed to be the favorite. Gabby thinks she's the favorite. Uh, my middle son believed he was the favorite. You just never know. People believe what they want to believe, but the truth is parents love everybody differently. We love differently. We love the same amount. We just love a different way because each kid needs a different thing. to do today because it's getting cold out uh, before we go up for school is find Storm's blanket because I need to take it with us on Monday and so that he has it because last time it rained and I didn't have his blanket there and it was awful so I need to figure out which blanket is Storm's I think it's gonna be this one that's my guess I know we've done a lot of vlogs about blankets <laughs> it's annoying as heck but trust me, I have anxiety about horse blankets. Oh, there's Penny's blanket right there. Oh, maybe not. Actually, where is Penny's blanket? This was Storm. Oh, this was definitely Storm's. So uh, this was Stella's and it's in perfect condition. And I'm pretty sure Storm can wear that. It's too big for Penny. And I think this one, unless this is Penny's. One. I would never ever wear it on my, put it on my horse. Which one's Penny? Oh. This one. Oh. Wait a minute. Okay, so there's two here. That needs to be warm. That's why I said yeah. I would never. So the reason I don't like to wash our blankets. Atrocious. Oh, I love it. It's it. navy and. No. What happened to it? Yeah, she's dirty. The reason that I wanted it to, the reason I don't like to wash the blankets or have them washed by someone, we have a really good washer that will wash them without an agitator, is because it takes away the waterproofing and then you have to re-waterproof them, which is fine, but they're already waterproof and a little bit of dirt is nothing. So this is uh, 78. Has front straps. Has front straps. Has stomach straps. Has back straps. Yeah, this was. I know it's good. Wait, 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 wait. Is it a 78? That's the question. Yeah. So this is going to be Storm's. Storm! And you look pretty and purple. Storm could also have this one. Oh, this one's really heavy. Yeah, he'd tear that off. Yeah, he'd tear it off. I am leaving. I am out of town. This was a 78, too. The only problem with this one is that it has a little rip. Like just a tiny rip right here, which I could sew so easily. Oh, he, he's either going to wear those or I'm just going to end up buying him a new one. Because I like him to stand out and look beautiful. And I like him in red. Like I told you guys before, Storm will break open a blanket before he'd ever be overheated. So I won't give it to him until like the time is exactly right. So it's girls lessons night with Brandon, but we decided not to go because Chino lost a shoe. He's been a rehabbing, you guys know, and every time we start to rehab him, something happens. Like the minute she can ride him once, he loses a shoe or something different happens. So anyway. Yeah, but Chino, get it together. Get it together, Chino. I have surprises. Surprises coming up, you guys, really, really soon. I don't want to tell you yet until it's time, so be prepared. But anyway. Uh, so we're not gonna have a lesson even though Sophie could have a lesson it just doesn't fair, feel fair for poor Gabby who doesn't ever get to ride so we're gonna do something just for our family we're stuck at home doing nothing and we just want to get out and do stuff so we're gonna go and head out and maybe do some shopping go to the mall eat out because that's what you do are we seeing the truck? no he's just, just getting his handicap 
about the radio. This is the first time we've been in the car all day. We've just been sitting at home. You guys know what it's like. Like some days when it's cold and dark and yucky outside, you just want to sit at home and do nothing. But then Sam came home and rescued us. No, I was yeah. perfectly fine watching TV. <laughs> we were perfectly fine. I was actually watching a show on Netflix. I never watch TV. Like this, very rarely do I ever get into TV. And it's funny because when Gabby was a baby, she's like her dad she loved tv like i'm talking at one year old she had all these shows that we put on the television back then people watch television not your ipad and she had like backyard again and and That's what were those other ones so that she would laugh hysterically at where uh, the guy jumped up and fell on the ground yeah that was, <laughs> yeah. That was the worst, <laughs> that worst one <laughs> gabby had every show like that she was, loved uh, them all what was that called in the night garden in the night garden <laughs> I should show Gabby what it was. Oh, she. Was <laughs> it was the guy that fell on his butt. On his yeah, butt. and Gabby would just, she was like one and a half. She would jump up and fall on her butt and it would probably hurt. And she would just laugh hysterically. So, then as Sophie came along, my second baby, and I needed her to be like a little bit calm and quiet, but she wasn't. She was noisy and she hated TV just like me. She's not a TV person. She's doing better now, but she, it's a phase. I'm telling you, she'll get out of it again. You like TV, Sophie? Yeah. A lot? Yeah. Yeah. But I can't sit there and watch something for a really long time. <laughs> yeah. Body makes me have to move around. Yeah, and that's what happens to me too. We can't just sit there and watch TV like all day or all night or for like two hours. We need to get rid of our, our coaches and put recumbent bikes. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> I'm on the couch. Now I'm on the ground, laying on the ground, laying on the couch. Now I'm on the couch. Now I'm on the ground. Now I'm on the ground. Couch, ground, couch, ground, couch, ground. Yeah. It's annoying. Bikes. Everybody can be biking and powering the TV. Either you like TV or you don't like TV. And it's not that I don't like it. It's just that I can't sit. I can't sit for a really long time, which is weird. I don't understand that. But anyway, comment uh, comment below. Do you like TV? Do you watch TV? And if you do, can you sit and watch TV or do you have to be moving all the time? All right, so before we go shopping, I wanna share a story that just came through in my email. It's from a lady named Lisa Koff. That's not her name though, that's not what people call her. But she sent me a message today and it was really interesting. Today, Sophie and I were talking about how spectacular Dalmatians are. Like I can't tell you how incredible Daisy is. Like she's captured our heart. Um, like even you Sam, right? She's so sensitive and so loving. And I said to Sophie today, she said like, would we ever get another Dalmatian? And I said, yeah, we would get another Dalmatian. Like who knew Dalmatians were so wonderful? But now I'm thinking that maybe it's not the breed. So listen to this story. She says that a courthouse in Texas uses therapy dogs to help children to to help children and others who have to testify under trying circumstances. They started with two dogs and now they have nine. The, but the most asked for is Bobby. Bobby is a bulldog. They dress him up in a baseball uniform and it's hard to be scared when Bobby is sitting next to you. All the dogs are great at what they do but Bobby is special. Because he is deaf, he is able to focus on his child without any distractions. He will watch the child and never look away. He also is very sensitive to the child's moods and offers kisses when he thinks they need it. When you have a disability, it's a good thing to find ways to make that deficit into a positive trait. Way to go, Bobby. Thank you, Lisa, for sending that to me. But you know what? Just when I read that, I was thinking to myself, holy heck, it's not that she's a Dalmatian. It's that she's deaf. That's what makes her special because what makes her special and what makes her so close to our heart is she's intent. She's intense the way that she stares at us and learns from us. It's on a different level. Like we don't, she doesn't just respond to us when we tell her things. She needs to like figure out who we are to really figure out us. And it has, it's, it's been incredible. Like she is an incredible dog. I can't even describe to you how incredible she is. And it's because of the way she draws out who we are. It's like so surreal and so unreal. And I can't explain it to you guys. Like she's so intense and so, and so, good in her heart she's the most loving dog and she's the most trusting dog and she's so smart and so fun loving and such a goofy girl and 
don't know, she's just amazing. At the very beginning, I just kept saying like, oh my gosh, deaf dogs are so hard, they're so hard. But, I can't imagine not having a deaf dog now. Like, honestly, I didn't even think about it until I read that, but I can't even imagine not having a deaf dog now because she's that incredible, she's that sweet, she's that wonderful. She doesn't forget a person ever. And it takes her a minute to get to know you, but once she does, like when the girl's friends come over, when Kaylee comes over, Daisy meets her at the door, looks straight in her eyes, and then Kaylee has to sit on the couch and she has to get right up there and snuggle and cuddle up with Kaylee for like five minutes before life can go on because she just loves her so much. And she's the same with my grand, my grandkids and she's just, I don't even know how to describe it. I, I, she's just amazing. And if you're sitting out there and you have a disability and you're feeling sad about it and like you don't fit in or like you're not worthy then just remember the story that Lisa sent Sophie because it's true every single person that has a disability has some other skill that is heightened or sharpened that makes them incredibly special and just remember that you're special we got time on our side we're in a state of Shopping. We officially started Christmas shopping, so we didn't show you guys what we bought. It's gonna be a surprise for our Christmas video. Daisy does not like to always go down to the barn at night. Lots of times she won't go anywhere without Sophie because she loves Sophie so much. Don't you know the 